What's going on all you marvelous model builders out there? Welcome back to the Black and Red Builds channel. So happy to have you back. So, uh, yeah, my daughter got me this for Father's Day because she's awesome like that. This is the Yolo Park Transformers Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime Earth Mode. Oh, was he? It's been a while since I've seen it. Did they even have the Earth Mode Optimus Prime in the movie? I thought he was just on Cybertron, but... I could be wrong, I'll have to watch it again. Again, it's been a long time. I know it's a fantastic movie. One of the better of the Transformer movies in my book because, well, we have Bumblebee looking like Bumblebee should with the Volkswagen Beetle. But anyways, this is all about Optimus Prime and uh, my my favorite of all the Transformers is Optimus Prime. Also love Soundwave. Uh, I think they might have a Soundwave model too. I don't know. I'll have to check into it. If they do, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Does Yolo Park make a Soundwave uh, model like this one that you build? Uh, you know, they do both. They have um, the pre built models and then they have the uh, plastic kits, the model kits, as you can see right here. This is a Gumpla style uh, build uh, where you have to cut all the pieces off the sprues and put it together. So. This thing is massive, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open. All right, guys, here we are. Uh, doesn't really fit fully in the camera that I have here, but uh, yeah, this thing is going to be a massive, massive build. So let's uh, let's crack this thing open and see what we got inside. A very, very tall box. There you go. Let's take this one, open that one too, and look at all the sprues. Holy cow. Uh, this one's going to take a while to build, uh, so without waiting any longer, let's go ahead and get started. All right, real quick, I did manage to get the uh, build guide out. It's buried underneath everything, so I'm going to take a little quick look. So you can get an idea on how these go together if you've never built this type of build before. Uh, he looks amazing. He looks amazing, extremely detailed. Here's all of our parts here laid out. It looks like we have multiple A's, like A1, A2, A3, and then you'll have a part number. Uh, it's kind of like the wooden models too, where you, each one has a letter and a number, and that's how you find your part to put together. So different color pieces all the way in. And then we'll start here. It looks like we start off building the head. Uh, it doesn't have very many decals, which is nice. Just a few here. You can see right there, just a few decals. That's it. Looks like we also have the uh, Energen Axe and the uh, Blaster. All right. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Can't wait to get this done and up on my shelf with my Agora models. Optimus Prime. Uh, I'm gonna have a whole Optimus collection. I mean, I definitely have more R2-D2. Huge fan of R2-D2. I got a lot of R2-D2s, but uh, I'm starting to build up my Optimus Prime collection. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started.
guys, we are all done with the Yellow Park 2018 Transformers Bumblebee movie, Optimus Prime, the uh, Earth Mode Optimus Prime. This has been quite an undertaking. This is a the biggest of these types of models that I've built to date. Uh, the most complicated of these types of models that I've built today. Again, we're talking about the Yellow Park Transformers Bumblebee movie, Earth Mode Optimus Prime. 32 sets of sprues parts, I believe, in this. Uh, it doesn't say exactly how many parts are in it, but there are a ton of parts in it. Let's go ahead and bring him up. Here he is, Optimus Prime. Really, really cool. This was a uh, it was a fun model to build, but it took me, like I said, uh, almost a week, working uh, a few hours a day on it for almost a week, five days actually, uh, that I worked on this to get it finished. It uh, it's a it's a big build. This is not for a novice. This is not for a beginner. This is for someone who has built these things before and someone who has the patience to build these. Uh, I believe the age limit on this, according to their package, is 15 years and up. I would certainly not purchase this or buy this for somebody else who is under the age of 15. But look guys, this is a hobby that we like. We love building things and the worst thing you wanna do is give a model that's too advanced to someone who's not ready for that level of model yet and then they get discouraged and they lose interest in the hobby so let's keep this hobby alive we love this hobby those of us who build models uh, enjoy uh, the nostalgia that they bring us whether it's old school transformers just cars in general motorcycles helicopters military stuff Wooden models, plastic models, metal models. It's something that we love as a community. Let's not uh, make it discouraging for somebody by giving them a model that they are not ready for. Now this is also from the Bumblebee movie. This is a much smaller Goompla style model that you cut out of sprues. Uh, and this is one that I suggest, I would suggest for younger ages, maybe 10 and up. Also a very fun build. There's more pieces in this than it looks, but this fellow's probably got as many pieces in his head alone as this figure, okay? This is a three and a half inch tall figure. This is a master grade Gundam right here that I also built on the channel. This has a lot of parts in it. And this is a seven inch tall figure. Very poseable, very cool figure. This in the Gundam world would be considered a perfect grade figure. And he is 12 inches tall and he has a ton ton of tiny tiny little parts everything you see in there most of that's all individual small little parts all connected together in a certain way that this thing actually is very bendable very flexible and you can see his arms move his elbows bend all these pieces have to work together his knees bend in two places here and here uh, his feet bend, they flex the toes, flex, they bend in and out. Uh, all of these pieces have to work together. Even his torso is flexible and he bends in and out on his torso. Uh, with that being said though, this is not an easily posed figure. Uh, because even though it bends and has a lot of articulation, it's not super easy to pose him in a lot of really cool poses. I mean, you can pose him in some pretty decent poses, but uh, there are much more posable figures out there than Optimus Prime. But holy cow, look how cool he looks, man. And you know what I love about this version is it kind of takes the G1 Optimus Prime, like this Agora Models Optimus Prime here, and mixes it with like the Michael Bay, completely different looking, very mechanical Optimus Prime with all the gears and the joints and the chains and the pistons and all of that that shows on it. And it kind of mixes them together to make a kind of a more modern looking G1 
style Optimus Prime. Uh, and I, I love it. I think it looks fantastic. One of my favorite of the Optimus Prime versions is this one here. Anyways, guys, here is the Energen Axe as well. Much different than what we would normally see. Uh, the almost lightsaber type of energy in the Energen Axe where it's just like a glowing energy. Uh, this one is very mechanical. Uh, it has the little stud here as you can see and that is what helps connect it to his hand this is reversible you can take this off and flip it so that it can hold it in the other hand and then we have the ion blaster i think it's a pretty cool looking ion blaster it's not my favorite but it is pretty cool looking i like how the the magazine comes out and you can put the magazine in like that the sights sit flat down inside there, and when you pull this back, they pop up. The sights pop up. I thought that was pretty neat, pretty cool, so it makes it a little more interactive. They have the smooth grip here, but if you open the back up like this, this piece will pop out, and then you push that into the grip like that. And now you got your connections there for either the left or right hand, and you can just close that back up. And if you want to put it back away, you just flip that back up, push that back inside like that, close that back down, and now it's stored away inside the blaster. Cool little blaster, but I, I enjoy the original. I like this style better uh, to me. I also like the one with the Gorham models because everything opens to show all the cool stuff inside. Even the sides pop open. So I like this version better. But the one that comes with the yellow part, uh, Bumblebee movie, Optimus Prime, is still a pretty cool ion blaster. I included already the video uh, showing him holding the blaster, the axe, and uh, uh, just different shots of the Optimus Prime here. Very cool. He's going to look great over here on my shelf. And I'm super happy to have him. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you're interested in picking this one up, I will leave a link in the description down below. Thanks guys for watching. Thanks for stopping by. I'm out of here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It's right there. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm Chewy Solo and this is Black and Red Builds. See you. Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.